Hello, my name is Amina and I'm your decision-making specialist. And today, guess what? Day 24, April 8th, 2020. 24 days, here I am. I hope you're there. I keep watching for you every day. And I was listening to a podcast and it was an interview with Scott Kelly, an astronaut who in 2015 was on a space station for one year. And the interviewer was talking to him about what it was like to be one year away from his family, away from everything familiar, and to be in that form of isolation. And here are the things that Kelly said. He said, one, always find a routine. And it's not going to be necessarily our regular routine these days. Set a schedule. Now, that doesn't mean that you have this chart and, oh, can't do that. It's not 945. Not that kind. Just that you have a set of things that you do every day, maybe a certain time that you usually eat dinner, a certain time that you have breakfast, a certain number of hours that the kids are doing their schoolwork. Maybe set that in 20 minute blocks, take a little break so that you kind of get a rhythm of how the day is going to go. And that gives a bit of certainty. Matter of fact, it gives a lot more certainty than what we usually have right now. And I'm not so much about finding a new normal. I think that gets real confusing because we don't know for sure what's normal, what's new normal. So I am just offering what Kelly did and what he said was have some kind of a schedule, some kind of a routine. And that routine doesn't have to be huge. It also could be little small ones, such as when you wake up, before you get out of bed, before your brain starts scrambling, to just take a minute or an eyelash of a second. <sighs> Exhale and ask yourself, how would I like this day to be when I'm lying in bed tonight? And there again, it's not about the perfect day. It's about, I would like to feel productive without pressure. Maybe you would like to feel rested. And so you just ask yourself, how can I feel more rested when I go to bed tonight? Do not scramble for the answer. We're just feeding the brain so that it begins to learn every once in a while, at least, to focus on something different than the virus, than the seriousness of what's going on in our lives. So first of all, some kind of a routine that fits for you, that helps you feel a little more certainty a little more of a foundation of how the day's gonna go rather than just waking up and not knowing anything. The second is to build some kind of exercise. We can't go to the gym. Most of us do not have a lot of equipment at home. Don't we wish we did? And maybe you have a bike, maybe you don't. So look around, find what you have. And it could just be an old-fashioned way that they used to show on YouTube. Get two cans, put them up, bring them down, put them up, bring them down, put them down, do a squat, bring up the can, so that the, the cans are actually weights or whatever else you have that you can use. Go for a walk. Get outside instead of so much inside. So it gives your brain a break, your physical 
body, some movement, and maybe you'll see something out there of beauty, and we are lacking a lot of beauty sometimes these days. Look for the little things, just the eyelash of things, because everything just feels so big. Bring it back, exhale, and look for small things that you can focus on. One of my clients has a little girl and they went for a walk and she found this leaf coming out on one of the bushes. And her mom started to walk on and she noticed the little girl was missing. I mean, she didn't get that far. And she turned around and the little girl was looking at this leaf. She said, mommy, there's a bug on the leaf. And it turned out to be an ant. A little ant somehow had found its way onto that leaf and she was just so intent. And for a moment or two, her mom bent down with her and looked at the leaf and watched the ant. And guess what? She was not thinking about the virus. She was not thinking, when are we getting to go out again? She was not thinking about the future. She was thinking about right this eyelash of a moment. So keep it small, all right? The other is about having some music. A lot of times, especially if we're at home, we don't play the music. We're working, we're fully focused on all of the things that we need to do, we should do, we have to do. There's no music. Music is part of the beauty. Music is what takes our brain somewhere else. So sometimes, if you pay attention, there's one single song that's kind of your song. Oh, we know other people listen to it. It's just that song makes you happy. When you're feeling good and you hear that song, I yes! Or if you're not feeling good and you hear that song, just little whispers of some kind of joy start to bubble. So find your song, find your style of music, find a favorite singer, and see how that will help you shift your brain and in some way, it brings your brain all together so it's not just fragments of straggly pieces of thoughts and, and worries and wonders. So again, exhale, bring that music in and focus on it. We're really talking about being able to shift our focus when it wanders away to bring it back. And another thing is to be sure to look at your family or whoever is with you or whoever is out there. And what Scott Kelly said is to look at them as crew, look at them as team members. And remember that we are all in this together. And that means that each contributes what they can when they can. And to keep percentages, see if it's equal, just will not work. The thing to keep in mind that he said, and I'm reminding you and myself, is that we are all doing our best, even when it looks like we're not. We none of us wake up in the morning and say, wow, I would like to feel like I had suffered when I go to bed tonight. No, we're all clamoring and walking and talking and trying to get everything done and sometimes causing ourselves a lot of pressure. We're thinking about out there and when we get to go out there, we're thinking about all the way things used to be and right now can feel pretty heavy and we can feel pretty unsure about everything. So be sure to include your family and everyone else in how you can work together. 
If you have kids in the home, let them help dinner, let them help clean, let them go for walks with you and just have your family time in a different way and make it small, small moments so that you've got the schedule, you've built in those small moments and time together in a different way. So then the next is that you are able to do something really special and that is to pay attention to you and your self-care. What is just even one little thing that's familiar that helps you feel, oh, like everything is okay or as close to okay as possible. Might be a bath. It might be a certain mantra that you save say and it might be a special person that you talk to it might be talking with somebody you haven't talked with for a while it might be taking a nap in the middle of the day even though that sounds so decadent and there's so much to do if at all possible just lie down close your eyes let all the swirling go and settle down and Notice what you're eating and pay attention to keep safe, to eat well, to sleep as well as you can, and be kind and generous to yourself. Because when I said that everybody was doing the very best they can, guess what? I mean you too, and you are. You are doing your very best. And sometimes we can't feel as if we're doing our very best because we're too busy doing it. So take a minute, take an eyelash of a second, appreciate yourself, appreciate that you are doing something that if anybody had told you three months ago that you were going to do this and be able to do it, you would say, that is impossible. So you are doing the impossible. Give yourself a break, okay? All right. So that is what I'm offering today, that you have a bit of a routine, build in some exercise, involve your crew, whoever they are, listen to your favorite music, just have it in the background or take five, 10 minutes, if you will, and just listen to the music and focus on it and feel it in your body and let your mind just relax as very best it can. Remember, we're not talking perfect. We're just talking being our best. And then to pace yourself and be very, generous and kind to you and to go slow and knowing that all of us are doing our best. And you know what? That's just good enough for right now. All right, practice it, put it in your toolbox, see if it works. And I will be looking for you tomorrow on day 25. Thanks for coming. Subscribe, leave me a comment and come back. Bye for now.